Um, so uh, we're here and I'm doing this interview. Could you tell me your name and where you're from? My name is Corey Moore. I'm from Westwood, Kentucky and Eastern Kentucky. Okay, and what are you doing here in Indianapolis? Uh, I'm in Indianapolis this week for ABCD training. What's ABCD? Asset-based community development. And you do some work with that in Eastern Kentucky? Yes, we're just starting a pilot proje project right now. Um, we've got two cities involved in Eastern Kentucky, one in Louisa and one in Westwood. Um, the first year this project is basically going out and what they call roving listening, how they will be just going out and find the gifts of the talents and the people in the community. So that's the first year of this project so far. And this community that you mentioned before is one you've lived in all your life? Yes, and I've got strong roots from them from both parents. You told me about a particular member of your family. What's her name? Um, my cousin, Tina Jackson. Yes. Um, she was, she's always been our light of our family, but um, when she was 23 or 24, she, uh, she came across and had a stroke, and uh, it took her vocal cords, and she has a little bit of constriction in her hands and feet, but, um, but she's, she's never, she's never, Went down from that. It constricted her vocal cords, so can she speak? She cannot speak, but she has a box that she that she can type out, and she can speak through that, but it also she can text you, so she can get you either way. So. <laughs> so she's in contact with you whether you're at home or far away. Oh, yeah. Demon, you said something about Tina, like that she's the best community organizer. Yes. Why did you say that? Well, the... Um, Kind of going back, the little story about she's on the um, Commonwealth uh, Council on Developmental Disabilities in Kentucky, and she she is part of this project that came to, people came to Broadway and said we want to try this, they want to try to figure this out in, in some of the places that are marginalized in Kentucky. So Tina was one of the people that came up and and she fell in love with Broadway, and so um, I realized that this project couldn't do anything without somebody like Tina who lives in those men in those communities, both from Westwood and Louisa, two different counties. But I got there and Tina, I have to tell you that I've witnessed like the Roman listener, she is the master at, at that. She knows everybody from two counties, everybody know her. Um, when some people when people in the community don't look at her is with a, with a disability. Corey, you were saying something in particular about how people look at her. What were you telling me about how people look at Tina? <laughs> Tina look at people, and she can take a dark room and make it the brightest room out of the bunch. I mean, she's just how she is. She's got that personality that just roars out of her. And uh, just because she might be able not be able to speak, but she'll she definitely knows how to get you. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think people people uh, really respect her and her husband Mark. Um, as community builders, and you know, they and they like rock stars, and both communities. You know. well, well, in some ways, Corey, you were telling me a story about how because of the way she has related to you, you think that's how you do the work that you do now, right? I definitely think that I got my my community development traits from that side of the family, and I think that Tina got them too, and uh, it's really great because it's. Tina's always been the one that, when I was going through school and everything and seeing my accomplishments in high school, she's always the one that always made a point to mess with me and say, you know, congratulations, you know, proud of you, you know. That's, she's always been that type of person. She put it up on Facebook, you said? All the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she's a celebrator. What we do around here, she does naturally. She 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 knows the gifts of people around here. She celebrates them, and, and she tells these stories. She's a very good writer. Um, they're doing an interesting project with her from her from her thought um you should tell them about what you guys wanted to do she was she told, came to us with an idea that she wanted a podcast she wanted to write the podcast and wanted us to run it and that's what we're going to start you know after we get back from indianapolis we're going to start working on our first podcast produced and you know written by tina and this podcast will celebrate the people of your community i assume Correct. right in both towns Right, and then you'll share it so that people can listen. Correct. So if people here would want to listen to it, how could they find it, do you think? Uh, once we get it up and running, it will be available on iTunes, so anybody that has iTunes is going to be able to listen. Well, we'll put a link up on the church site for that, too, oh, okay? Great. Thank you very much, Corey. I appreciate you telling me about your cousin Tina. Thanks, Demon.
Bye.